and welcome back to another episode of Black Pack Homestead. Today, we're going to talk all about the nutrition facts of quail eggs. We're going to talk all about the nutritional facts of quail. I was going to talk all about the meat nutrition and how, when our quail hatched and all that, but that that's just too much information for one video. So for this video on our Caternix quail, we're going to go over the nutrition um, content of a quail egg and go over a little bit of the difference of what um, a chicken egg is to a quail egg. So I'm going to tell you just a little bit about this guy, um, this little quail chick behind me here before um, we go into the nutrition benefits of quail eggs. Um, my brother-in-law gave me 12 eggs to hatch, no enough, and his incubator only held 20 eggs, so he gave us the, um, uh, gave us 12 eggs to hatch. And we, you know, did put them in the incubator and only one hatched, and it hatched a day early. And it was such a tiny, tiny quail chick. He's, this is a, see, he was born the 11th. Today is the 16th. He's five days old, and he's just now about the size of a newborn quail chick. So he's the only one that hatched, and my brother-in-law has got some hatched out already. And, my, and Chris was like, well, why don't you, you know, take, take this chick to Albert, and he can, you know, be with the family. You know, he's got nine chicks. They're just like a day or two older than this one. I was like, I kind of want to hand raise him. And so we started calling him Uno, and then I decided when he started making the cricket noise that I wanted to call him Cricket. So this is this little guy's Cricket, and I think he is a mix between an Italian and a jumbo meat maker, because the guy that my brother-in-law got his eggs from had Italians in with his um, meat maker birds. And so I think that's why he's a little um, on the smaller side, because the more color colorful quail are smaller. Now that you know little um, Cricket, not even know, we're calling him Cricket, Cricket story, um, I'm going to show you our quail egg collection for yesterday. They've not quite been laying a week, and we got 11 eggs. And I want to show you, we got, um, we got a little tiny tiny fairy egg look how little that quail egg is and then no and then we got this giant one and we got another double yoker the other night when we were cooking the quail eggs and um and um i took pictures of it that's on instagram i was so excited to have my own eggs so yesterday we got 11 and total so far since they started laying they've not been laying a week yet we have had 31 eggs already and it's been five six five days since they started laying so that's pretty awesome so i'm loving having quail eggs having eggs on the homestead just blesses my soul feel like i'm really finally getting somewhere with raising my own meat and eggs so anyway let's get into those nutrition facts on a quail egg let me get a sip So, first of all, let me get my notes turned to the right page. Oh, one more thing I was going to let you guys know about our quail and everything is that we ended up with 33 total quail in our quail tractor. We have 18 females and 15 males saffron and 15 males. So that means we need to harvest about nine males because we want to have one male to every three females. So we will, in a couple weeks, we'll harvest about nine males and keep the biggest, best looking males for to breed, you know, so we can hatch more. And um, that will be six males to 18 females. And that's gonna be our final count for our breed cage. And then from here on out, it'll be grow outs for me except for the breeders that we will refer Okay, so now that you know the stats for our quail, let's talk about those nutrition facts about the quail eggs. 
and the health benefits, and there are a lot of health benefits, which is one of the reasons that I wanted to raise quail and quail eggs, um, so I can heal myself through this nutrient-dense food, just like we raise rabbits, because it's more protein-rich and much easier for me to digest than even chicken, since, you know, I have Crohn's and I have gastric paresis, which basically means my stomach is paralyzed. Only six feet of small intestine with that whole Crohn's thing, lots of surgeries. So for me to heal myself, I feel like it is really important for me to try to raise all the meat, eggs, vegetables, you know, pretty much as much as I can of what I eat, because I'm, that way I know it's the most nutrient dense it can possibly be because I raised it. Okay, so um, a lot of the important benefits, it can improve your vision. It can boost energy levels. It can stimulate growth and repair of your cells and your organs. It can improve your metabolism. It can reduce blood pressure. It can improve your allergy symptoms and it can prevent chronic diseases. Now in this egg, you're gonna have a higher yolk to white ratio and a lot of people worry about that meaning it's got a higher amount of cholesterol. Well, that is not the case. It does have a small amount of saturated fat, but the cholesterol that is in that egg yolk is HDL, which is the good cholesterol. But if you have bad cholesterol issues with the LDL, that HDL is what you wanna raise. Um, also, some of the um, nutrient content of the egg, it has, um, 13.05 grams of protein in each egg. It has um, 13 milligrams of magnesium, 132 milligrams of potassium. It has um, 140 units of B1. And where's my other fact? And it has, you know, like six times the B1 in a chicken egg and 15 times the B2 in a chicken egg. And it also has more of the ovomucoid protein, which increases the, increases the um, nutrition of the egg and it helps immunity. So you can repair cells and, and um, damage internal organs, you know, as we all have wear and tear on our organs as we get older. Um, vitamin A, um, the vitamin A in the egg, in the quail egg, it protects your vision because it is an antioxidant ac activity of the vitamin A that can reduce macular degeneration, which is really important to me because my grandmother, my paternal grandmother, had macular degeneration, and I do have an autoimmune eye disease already called iritis or uveitis, where the um, cells that are in, within the pupil that allow it to dilate and close um, get inflamed, just like my intestine gets inflamed. That hadn't happened in a while, knock on wood. Yes, this desk is wood. Um, and it can also help prevent the development of cataracts. That vitamin A is really important. Um, it's all, the quail egg is also detoxifying. There have been studies done that show that it, it helps your body eliminate toxins and can even reduce the size of kidney stones. Um, you know, enviro environmental toxins, you know, it can help get those out of your body. It's a pretty amazing little egg. Um, and the antioxidants in, this e in these eggs with these ovomucoids um, prevent chronic diseases um, by significantly raising, the le ha has a significantly raised level of vitamin C and vitamin A. And those two vitamins help um, combat free radicals. Um, the ovomucoid protein that I was talking about, it is also the part of the quail egg that is anti-allergic. Um, quail eggs can like somehow reset your system through this ovomucoid protein if you're already allergic to like regular eggs or you have hay fever. Um, this ovomucoid protein can help reset your system somehow to where 
you begin to not be allergic to the things you were before. So I found that really interesting. The vitamin B, the high concentrations of the B vitamins in the quail egg, it boosts your metabolism um, by normalizing the hormonal and enzymatic functions of the body. And that ensures that you have a smooth, smooth body processes and organ function. There are so many minerals and micronutrients in these quail eggs that that is the piece of that egg that raises those energy levels and that big boost of protein that you get from the quail egg that is what gives you that energy and I have not been eating quail eggs long enough to attest to this but you know we're gonna find out together so now I'm gonna do chicken egg versus quail egg and generally the quail egg has three to four times the nutrition in it than a chicken egg um, the amount of vitamin B1 in a quail egg is 140 units as to a chicken egg, which is 50 units. The protein in a quail egg is 13%. The, the protein in a chicken egg is a hair over 11%. Um, the quail egg also has twice as much vitamin A and B2 as a chicken egg. It has five times the iron and vitamin K that a chicken egg has. It has more phosphorus and calcium than a chicken egg. And as I said before, they are rich in HDL or good cholesterol. So that, those are our quail facts. If you could get all that with me starting and stopping and and, and disciplining my dogs. Um, I am going to link the websites that I use to get this information so you can go and read it for yourself. I looked at several websites, compared information, and the two I'm gonna um, put as links were the ones that were the easiest for me to read and understand and I felt like I got the most information. And most of that information I was just told you <laughs> but it would be better for you to read to your read it for yourself and you can absorb it and you know, remember it and share the wonderful greatness of quail eggs you know that's awesome so if you have any questions about quail eggs um in the nutrition or just anything about quail you can comment below and I will be absolutely happy to answer that question. And if I don't know the answer, I will find someone who does. At this point, I'm going to do my disclaimer. I am not a doctor and I don't play one on YouTube. I did work in healthcare in my working life, but I no longer work in healthcare. So please. Go to the links I'll provide and read it for yourself. Research beyond that. Um, it's always good to know, you know, what you're getting into, even if it is an egg. Because if you do have um, high LDL cholesterol or high cholesterol, then um, I do. If you do have high cholesterol, I do recommend that you talk to your doctor about it because there is a minute amount of saturated fat. In, in the egg and you know you're not going to eat 20 eggs in a day you're going to eat like three to six eggs you eat these eggs moderately you know as everything is good in moderation so you know that is my disclaimer and if you have high cholesterol talk to your doctor before going on a diet of quail eggs and remember everything is good in moderation moderation is the key to your diet. A little bit of everything and not a whole lot of one thing. It needs to be varied is where the key to health is, that it is nutrient dense and a variety of foods. Okay? So once again, if you have any questions, please comment below and we'll be happy to answer them for you. And at this point, I'm gonna close this video out and I'm going to say, you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say thank you for watching. And we'll see you here next time at the Black Pack Homestead. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Oh,